Have you ever been stuck while coding in MATLAB? Have you encountered an error that you couldn't resolve? Did you come across a syntax error that you did not know what to do of? Or if you are a complete beginner and you don't know how to code something, what would you do? Would you try Googling it up? If you would, then let me tell you, that is a mistake. There is a much more efficient way of getting help in MATLAB. Hi, I am Zain Khan and you are watching Engineering Simplified. In this video, I am going to show you the most effective way of getting help in MATLAB. Without further ado, let us begin. Now let me define two variables. Now let's say I am a beginner but I need to plot a graph of x against y. So how do I do that? First way that comes to mind of a beginner would be to google it up. But I would urge you not to do that, instead follow this. What you do is you write doc in your command window and press enter. What it will do is it will open this window up, which is the MATLAB help window, and it contains the entire documentation of MATLAB. And here, you just by going here, you can search for anything and everything that is present in MATLAB. So if I need to plot a graph, all I need to do is I need to write plotting, press enter. And it shows you the results of all the things that are in MATLAB related to plotting. The first result is related to the 2D line plot. And it even shows you a small preview, which seems interesting. Let us click here and read it further. So it tells you that the plot, which is the function name, what it does is it draws a 2D line plot. That is something that we are looking for. And here it shows you different ways of using the plot function, which is the different syntax of the plot function. Right now we are only going to focus on the very basic one. So let us try and make use of the first one, which is plot x comma y. So it is showing if I click this, it takes me to the area where it gives me the description of this. So plot x comma y creates a 2D line plot of the data in y versus the corresponding value in x. This seems interesting. This is something that I was looking for. So now I know that in order to plot the function, all I need is I need to type plot and inside the bracket, I just need to write x comma y with x being your first variable, y being your second variable. Let me minimize this. Let me write plot x comma y. Press enter and here comes the graph. And as expected, we can see that the graph is a straight line. Now let's see if I need to make this graph a little more visually appealing. How do I do that? So I would again make use of this help function by using doc. And let's make a small change to the graph. Let's say in this graph, I want this blue line to turn green. So let me close this up. Let me write doc again. And this time, since I already know the name of the function, instead of writing doc and going through all the documentation and try and trying to find out the right function, I can simply write doc space followed by the function that I'm interested in. So I press enter and it directly takes me to the plot function documentation. And here I can try uh, finding the color. So the best thing about this is that you know everything that is in MATLAB related to the plot function is going to be in this page. So you can give it a quick read to find out whatever you are looking for. I have already read it, so I know that in order to define a color, you need to make use of this. So it tells you that there is a plot followed by x, y and line is pack, which creates a plot using the specified line is type, marker and color. So this is something I'm looking for. In this syntax, this is the second one. I press it, it takes me to this. And I come down and give it a quick read, browse through it until I reach the point that I am interested in. So I reach the point somewhere here. So it tells me that in order to define a color, which is the line spec, line style, marker, color. So I need to make use of this color name or the short name R. So here I can see that in order to use a different color, I can refer to it by its short name. So let's say I need to make the plot red so I can use the short name R within these single quotation marks. And if I go up again, 
here it tells me how I had to use this. So it tells me in order to use this, I write x comma y, which is what we just did, comma by the line spec. And line spec would be your color name in single quotation mark. So let us try that. So let me write plot again, and this time x comma y, and comma r in single quotation marks. And let me press enter. And here you go. And here I can see that the line is now drawn in red color. So using the doc function, you can find out everything that is to know about anything and everything that is there in MATLAB. There is an alternate way of using this doc function. It is by using help instead of doc and you write help followed by the name of the function. So the name of the function is plot. I press enter and what this will do is it would show me the same information that was shown previously, but it shows me the information within the command window. The advantage of doing this is that you don't have to open another window, but the disadvantage is that the formatting of this isn't so nice and you don't see the graphs and examples in this. So I would always recommend that you use the doc version of this. So let me clear this out. Now let us try to find more information about another function. First, let me define another variable z equals one, two, three, four, five dot one, two, three, four, five. And I press enter. And now if I need to access the value of z, I press z, press enter. Now I notice that even though the value of z had 10 digits, it only showed me the first five digits and it truncated the last four digits. Why is that so? It is because by default, MATLAB only shows you the first four digits after the decimal point. It is how MATLAB processes it by default. If you want to change this, how you do it is by making use of the function format. So let's say I am a beginner and I don't know how format function works. So I simply write doc followed by format. I press enter and here I can read how to use format function and I can even see the examples. So here in this example, says DOM format and here you can see that they've used format space long and the example shows that the answer is printed to a lot of decimal places. So let me use that. So now let me write format long press enter and let me write Z again press enter and here you go. So now it shows you the complete number. So similarly by using doc and help, you can literally navigate through all the functions that are in MATLAB. And I think this is the best way to get help if you get stuck, especially in the case of syntax errors. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe to show your support and also so that you get updated for any new videos in this video tutorial series. And as always, see you in the next video.